transferring that to Florida, which is where I ended up with my own retail space in a strip mall. We did picture framing and photo restoration, and we did portrait photography. And that's when I, I had a serious health crisis. I've had seven concussions, I believe. As a result of that, I was diagnosed as major depressive disorder, recurrent, severe. I was suicidal for 30 years. So while other people were building careers and having families, I was concentrating most of my energy on staying alive. Thirteen years ago, I came down with a serious illness. I ended up in the hospital and almost died. And I was in the hospital for two weeks. I was in a forced coma for a week. I didn't have any insurance and it came out to be $180,000. And let me f say this, I've been paying that bill for the last 13 years. Actually, I do live in my um, van, which is a, a Mazda, so it's, it's not a full-size van, and I'm a full-size man, so it's a bit cramped in there. Um, and it's, a, it's pretty uh, difficult, just, uh, you know, every night there's sirens and cops and fire department. It's hard to make long-term plans because you don't know what the future holds. I don't know if tomorrow I'll, I'll get a notice from my company saying that my services are no longer required. I don't know what I'd do. You know, I'd have to get rid of all my belongings and have to move out. In looking for a place to live, it's been very challenging. First and last month's rent, um, so financially, it's difficult. Having a place to live that meets all of my needs uh, within um, my financial means would mean the world to me. I can't even, I can't, it's hard for me to express how much it would mean to me personally to have a place of my own where I can plant flowers. 